Blue Origin is set to put its spacecraft to the ultimate test, its first human spaceflight. Tomorrow, the company plans to send its boss and Amazon founder, Jeff Bezos, to the edge of space to float in microgravity for a couple of minutes and then return safely. Here to talk about it with us is Karina Dries, president of the Commercial Spaceflight Federation. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a great day for spaceflight. Karina, what are you most looking forward to tomorrow? Yes, absolutely. It's going to be an incredible day. Um, thank you so much for having me this afternoon. So we are really just on the cusp of seeing the activity of commercial human space flight. And this is a really exciting moment in our, really in, in our history for humanity. I think future generations are gonna look at this moment as a pivotal moment for humanity when it comes to the expansion into space. So now Blue Origin is now just over 24 hours from its first crewed launch. What are some things that people watching that launch tomorrow should know about the crew, about their experience, and about this sort of nascent flight for, for space tourism? Yeah, that's a great question. So there are a lot of factors involved. And these companies that have been developing the space equipment for several years now have gone through very rigorous test programs and have done several flights um, independently of uh, he having humans on board. So we're getting to the point now where the companies are starting to put uh, crewed missions into space. Now, how is this different, what Jeff Bezos is gonna be doing tomorrow with going to the edge of, of space? How is this different from what Richard Branson, Virgin Galactic's founder did recently when he went up in his own spaceship? So the vehicles themselves are very different. And ultimately, you know, each company has its own long-term mission and long-term vision for the, for the operation of the company. Uh, but the vehicle designs are very unique. And we're kind of at that moment right now from a regulatory and policy perspective where we're starting to look at the uniqueness of each individual vehicle and each individual system. And what about Elon Musk? I mean, where does he, we know we know it's sort of the race amongst the billionaires uh, to, to get to outer space, but where does sort of Musk fit in with Bezos and Branson at this time? And, and also what is he doing that's different with his SpaceX company than their companies? So I would say, you know, every company is very unique and it's not just those three uh, individual launch companies anymore. There are several other launch companies coming online now. So that's what's really exciting about the industry at this moment. Um, it's, it's, you know, I think there's a perception out there that it's all about uh, the billionaires and flying the billionaires to space, and that's just not the case anymore. Um, the, you know, the goal really is for the price point to come down to the point where a, a middle-class American can take that same trip into space. So, um, you know, I think we're fortunate as an industry that a lot of these companies have had um, the, the backing of these wealthy individuals over the years, but we're, we're seeing now sort of a, a turn where um, now we've got traditional investors that are, that are really paying a lot more attention to the industry. You know, I, I, in an interview with CBS News, I know that Jeff Bezos was asked if he was nervous. He said more than being nervous, he's actually curious about what it is they're going to see. Apparently, this uh, what they're going to be flying in called the Shepherd has these huge windows. Um, so they're going to be able to look out and have just awesome, um, an awesome look back at, at Earth. Um, how long do you think it might be before regular non-billionaire folks will be able to uh, to go up into space as a as a as tourists? So it's really difficult to pinpoint a point and you know a moment in time, but that day will come because not only is there demand for tourism, but you know for some of the companies, their objective is point-to-point -point transportation on the Earth. Uh, being able to get from New York to Tokyo in just a couple of hours. So that's going to drive the demand as well. When, when we think about um, paying uh, participants today becoming passengers on future point-to-point -point flights in the future. Um, we, you know, we're also seeing a lot of activity with other very interesting companies like balloons, for example, high altitude balloons taking uh, passenger or participants up to the edge of space, um, space habitats also for individuals that can spend days or weeks at a time up in space. So there's, there's definitely a lot of interest. And I would say that uh, exploration is one of the few things that brings us together as a species. 
And what's most fascinating to me is that space just happens to be the destination of our time. What do you think um, they'll be experiencing? Or can you give us a little preview about what Jeff Bezos, and I believe his brother is going up into space with him and two other folks, including an 18-year-old, one lucky teenager. Um, what might they experience when they get to the edge of, of space? So they'll have uh, several minutes of weightlessness where they can um, potentially unbuckle their, their seatbelts and, uh, you know, essentially float around for a few minutes to, to experience that weightlessness um, and get this perspective of the planet that very few people have been able to see. And I think that's um, that's a game changer for people who had that experience. It's sort of like having kids. You know, you don't you hear people tell you your whole life that your life changes when you have kids and you don't really know what that means until you experience it yourself. And I think that's um, similar to that perspective of being able to see the planet um, from space and just really appreciating how unique and fragile the planet really is. For sure. It's going to be awesome. We're all going to be watching. Karina Dries, president of the Commercial Space Flight Federation, thanks so much for being with us.